Okay, I changed a few things. I didn't have enough space for the receiver with the power OSD, so I changed the uh, ESC signal wires to be on top of the flight controller. And I also changed the uh, camera wire so I can mount the receiver between the flight controller and the OSD. So a few changes there. I think I'm gonna mount the receiver between the flight controller. Yeah, I think it's going to be fine. Then cut off the excess wires, wire ends. solder on these wires because they look loop like this on the other side yep. pull the receiver out and put the heat shrink tube on nice nice for a change I'm using again some in package material Heat it up nice and the result will be better. Adjust it before I heat it up. Okay. Now it's almost in there, so it's a little bit coming out of the back, but if the antennas are attached here, then it could be okay. Could be. Here is the down downside of the uh, top plate. I had to cut a little piece out because I'm using a top connector camera, so I have to cut. Cut the top plate a little bit. I'm not sure how it's supposed to be on the top plate. Not just sure. That's the way I did it, anyways. I also got a little hole for the VTX display and the adjusting button. So I have to change channels quite often when we are racing so 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 I have to be uh, able to adjust them and see what channel I'm on I think I'll mount the uh, receiver antennas on the outside until I get a 
3D printed antenna holder. This tape is going to change into rubber after I stretch it. Don't know the actual name for it. But it's, it's pretty easy to use with these captures. It's fine. And always try to hit up both sides of the joint when you solder, but it's not so easy on these connectors. I think I will add a little bit more solder after I've done the other side. And I've fixed the fix the other side a little bit. Maybe I will add more solder, not sure. Light is from Banggood, it's a really cheap one and a really bright one. But it only accepts something like 3 volts. So I will be using an adjustable step down from Banggood, also. It's a really cheap one. Cheap one, looks like this. This small screw, you can adjust the voltage from that one. Then you need to have one. If you want to use the small LED lights from Banggood. And this this small cable is outputting like full voltage from the 4S or 5S LiPo I will be using with this capture and uh, the step down isn't really that great it will it will probably heat up quite a bit but it's cheap and small and so on so I have been using those ones and then we check the input input plus and connect it there. And then add a small amount of solder again. I could have pre-soldered this one, but yep. 
And I bet that step down will heat like crazy after this. <laughs> Disconnect that one and now. Uh, There's the ground, and then can I connect the plus wire? Now you can see how how bright it is. Whoa! <laughs> it's absolutely blinding. <laughs> This is a pretty solid weight mount lid. That light in the rear of the frame. Oh, too tight, too. <laughs> okay. Now it looks like it's almost bent, but. It's really bright. Now it's overheating. Overheating the LED. I remove the battery and I hope it's going to be better when I fly. It, I suppose the props will cool it, the LED, with airflow. Here's a close up of the adjustable step down and the black heat shrink tube and, and the LED strip. On that with chip ties on the arms. Now I'm doing the VTX cable. First of all, I'm I'm grounding the audio and ground together the black and the green wire. I like to do it like that. I'm not sure if it improves improves the quality or the signal. But I haven't really tested it but Anything like that, so yep, and let's shrink them with the heat gun. With your friends, and, uh, huh? here's my VTX cable going to the OSD. I'm just gonna push it into place. I hope it's not hitting the camera too much. There's not a lot of room, to be honest. I could use some double sided tape. tape on the VTX. I'm actually adding two pieces of this tape to mount the VTX so it won't vibrate in. I hope it will last longer in FPV racing. Everything. All the gear is taking so much punishment, so at least I crash a lot. There's some hard crashes with full throttle, so and full speed on the grass. Grass and everything else. Stretch the tape. Then mount it on the In and hope it still fits. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice. Give it a cave. Again. Thread the 
second. Oh. Here's the VTX. VTX mounted and... Hmm. No, it's just missing the battery. Balance point or the center of gravity is pretty pretty low. Actually feels feels really different. There's the uh, GoPro chassis. It's gonna be really cool looking when it's finished. Sits on top of the TV camera again. Looks like a really good fit for the camera mount, but I'm not sure how to attach it. Attach it to the frame so it will it won't get lost when I crash. Something happens. I have to think about it. Maybe I'll add some velcro on top of the frame and bottom of the camera and and, and I'll need some strap to hold it in place. It's like a great idea, but for some reason they didn't think of the GoPro session. 